Hello everyone and welcome to the how to play as doctor video. Today we will show you some hints on how to play as doctor and I will give you a hint on who to protect when. If you like the video or just some videos on my channel in general, consider subscribing. I see a lot of my watchers didn't subscribe yet so there is a road to conquer. Anyways, let's get started. To start things off, the Doctor is a protection role and I consider it as a second category role, the protector category. As Doctor, you can protect one player a night and you can you got an infinite amount of bandages, which means that you can sometimes save people for over 3 times in one game. On top of that, it's important to know that you cannot protect yourself in contrast to the bodyguard. Both of these factors make you a strong but vulnerable role, since you can prevent a lot of kills, but the werewolves will, except if someone else protects you, easily kill you. This makes that you shouldn't give yourself away too easily, because without a doctor, the game for the mischiefs will be way easier. Another thing that you need to know is that you can see it when your protected player is attacked. If you see that your bandage got triggered in the chat, you can consider saying it in the chat. The advantages are, you get trusted and the person you protect is kind of confirmed good. But watch out with that one, because sometimes the serial killer attacked the werewolf and you attack and you actually protected the werewolf, which means the person you yeah, protected is not guaranteed good. The disadvantages though, of revealing that you that your protected player got attacked is that the werewolves now know that you are the doctor and so they will probably kill you. The most important thing to know is the existence of a psychological game between you and the werewolves and serial killer. As long as you didn't claim doctor you can play in whatever way you want because no one will suspect you of being a fake doctor. But once claimed doctor you have to protect the person you promised to protect. The village will namely ask if you can protect a certain player in order to prove yourself. If you don't do this and the werewolves will kill the person you promised to protect, the village will kill you. But as long as you don't have claimed doctor, you can play sort of a game. You can go safe and protect the first category, aka the aura seer, the seer, the detective and maybe the spirit seer and the seer apprentice. But sometimes information is less important and you may sometimes need roles from the third or even fourth category, the killing and the voting category. It's not really worth protecting a regular villager or a pacifist usually, but a grumpy grandma or mayor can be a crucial move. Also, protecting gunner, jailer or even witch may be useful. The other side is that you don't protect the most important category at that moment, but you can choose a less important player to protect. This may cost you the game, but it can be a good move as well. It depends a bit on the werewolves what tactic is best, but if you see the werewolves attacking the strongest role like the seer, the gunner and the aura, you'd better protect these roles. If the werewolves avoid these roles, you could better try to protect someone else. The werewolves may think, for example, the doctor protects the aura, so we kill the jailer. If you see a pattern in a game like that, you could consider protecting other roles rather than the most important ones. When you are a doctor, you should keep an eye on the wolf shaman. The wolf shaman will try to enchant you in case you are not confirmed yet. Since the doctor cannot prove himself that easily, you might decide to claim early so that the other whales will have a disadvantage in not being able to claim the doctor. Actually, you often see that the werewolves use a doctor as scapegoat and that means that it is kinda good if you can get confirmed good in the beginning. Now I will give a list with all village roles and when to protect them. Aura Seer, Seer and Seer Apprentice. Protect these roles as long as there's not enough information, like in the beginning. In case either one of these died in the first night, it's really important to protect one of these. Detective Spirit Seer. Protect these when there are a lot of Aura Seer and or seers and only the detective is reliable. Sometimes you may encounter some werewolves that do aura simulation or you just have a lot of auras in their RV list which makes the auras unreliable and sometimes even useless. In that case you better protect the detective or the spirit seer who is more trusted. Gunner and Priest if there are still two informers but Jailer died and there are no other protectors you need to protect the gunner or the priest. These two roles are really important if the village needs kill power. Jailer. When the village has enough information that the jailer is a big obstacle for the 
werewolves and the killer, you need to protect the jailer. The, this role might be quite important late game. Medium. If there is no one to be revived and medium claimed, you better protect the medium. Remember that the medium with the revival still in the pocket is stronger than any role. Witch, Bodyguard, Tough Guy and Other Doctor. Protect these roles if you need vote power and if these roles are the strongest roles alive. This might have an happen end game when informers died and the gunner and priest are out of ammo. Protecting protectors might sound a bit different but the werewolves don't expect that to happen so it might save you later on. The Beast Hunter. Protect the Beast Hunter if they got revived or the trap got deactivated and you need the kills of the trap. By protecting the Beast Hunter, they have a knight to place the trap so that there's some extra danger for the werewolves. The werewolves usually don't like Beast Hunters, so if they feel there is a chance to take it out, they will try to. You can say no. Avenger. Protect the Avenger if there is no stronger role to protect. In late game, you will not need to protect the Avenger, but in early game, the Werewolf Serial Killer might decide to get rid of the Avenger because they are hoping the Avenger will not tag anyone or that the Avenger even takes someone randomly. You can make the Avenger useful by letting it not die early game. Grumpy Grandma and Mayor Protect the Grumpy Grandma or the Mayor if you are getting in a close late game situation. Sometimes there are like 4 villagers and 3 werewolves and you will definitely need that extra vote or 1 vote less for the werewolves. This might also be a good thing in a situation in which you got a solo killer, a mayor or the grandma and you. By protecting these 4 category roles you can strengthen your team or weaken the opponent in voting sessions. Marksman. Protect the marksman if the kill power is really necessary and there are no other roles like jailer and gunner. Cursed. Protect the curse if the werewolves will be the winning team upon converting the cursed. There is a huge difference between 7 villagers against 4 werewolves and 6 villagers against 5 werewolves. Precedent. Protect precedent at all costs when there is a precedent in your game. Cupid. Protect the cupid if you are in a couple and your lover is something bad and definitely if the lover is about to get killed. You might need the vote of the cupid on your side, so sometimes you need to go for your own interest rather than the village. Pacifist, Red Lady and Normal Villager Only protect these roles when there are no stronger roles and these roles are the only confirmed ones. These roles on itself are quite useless, but sometimes you may need a trusted villager in the game in order to win. My last hint is that you can make use of ethical suicide. Suicide is not allowed in general though, but if the village is about to lynch you because they trust a werewolf claiming doctor, you can commit suicides, suicide so that the villagers know you are true and the werewolf lied. The hint only applies in ranked, since games in which you suicide will only count in ranked and in the other modes the games will not count at all when you suicide. Anyways, I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. You can also check out the How to Plays playlist, which has a lot of videos like this. If you want to vote for the next role, or you want to chat with me and others, join the Hypohood Discord server. A link is in the description. But for now, I will see you later and don't be a traitor. Goodbye.